Rice growing produces large amounts of straw. Rice straw can be baled to sell as hay or animal bedding, but this requires specialized equipment that is often unavailable to smallholder rice farmers. While the straw can be used for many things, in a lot of countries, farmers remove the straw from the field and see it as waste. Rice straw doesn't decompose quickly, and it is too cheap to sell. As there is so much of it, many farmers burn it to clear their fields for the next season. This pollutes the air and kills life in the soil. While many see rice straw as a problem, some innovative people in Egypt see it as a business opportunity. By adding manure to rice straw, it decomposes faster and gives compost. This natural fertilizer improves the soil structure, keeping it healthy so plants grow well. Ahmed Taweb, a smallholder farmer, explains its advantage over manure. To fertilize my land, I need very large quantities of manure. I'll use up to 30 tons of manure on my land. But with compost, I only use three tons for the same harvest. If I use compost, it's less labor to carry it to the land. And also, I have less weeds. Because composting kills any weed seeds in the manure. So you get good production. To turn your rice straw into compost, it requires a series of steps that control and accelerate the decomposition by microorganisms. Because microorganisms require specific conditions for decomposition, making compost is about the optimal balance of manure, rice straw, moisture and ventilation. This work is labor intensive because rice straw gets tangled and heavy when moist. Rice straw is also very tough and difficult to shred. Shredding rice straw would reduce the composting time by half, but these specialized machines are also unavailable to most smallholder rice farmers. When managing a large compost operation, manual labor is too costly and you will need to rent a tractor to turn and ventilate the compost. If you do not own one, then you will need to rent one. Large piles of compost require large amounts of water, so it is important to have access to a pressurized water hose that can reach all the compost piles. You add rice straw to fresh manure at a 2 to 1 ratio. For a commercial compost project, this means you need the cash flow for the raw materials and equipment rental to cover a four-month decomposition period. Build the pile by alternating layers of rice straw with layers of fresh manure. Add water after each layer to keep it moist, but do not soak it. The ideal height for a compost pile is the height of an adult, up to 2 meters high. Piles smaller than 1 meter high will not heat up enough, while piles that are too large will become heavy and very compact, and without ventilation decomposition will also slow down. In the first 6 days your compost should be hot, too hot to touch. If you have a temperature probe, it should read between 55 and 65 degrees Celsius. This is the best temperature range to kill most wheat seeds and disease present in the manure, as Ezzat Eid explains. The temperature reaches its peak after three days. This is the guarantee that the decomposing process has started. The bacteria in it are successfully increasing. 
and that manure and straw is breaking down. It's the activity from the bacteria that increases the temperature in the pile. The key factor for compost production is a well aerated and moist pile, so that the microorganisms that decompose the straw can thrive. On the other hand, if the pile gets too hot, over 71 degrees Celsius, all the beneficial microorganisms responsible for breaking down the straw will die, and the pile will stop decomposing. Cooling the pile is easily done by turning it, as this releases the heat. After the first week, the temperature in the pile should gradually drop, and it will stabilize at around 20 degrees Celsius. It should feel warm to the touch. This is how you know it is still decomposing. Turn the piles every three to four weeks. Take this opportunity to water the pile evenly. If I don't turn the compost once or twice, then the straw in the outer layers will remain as raw material, and only the center will decompose. It won't give me the quality I want. If you plan on selling compost regularly, build a new pile as the previous one is ready for turning. This way, renting a tractor becomes more cost-efficient. Every few days, put your hands in the pile and check it. If it is cool and dry, this means the temperature has decreased and decomposition will have slowed down. This can sometimes happen if the pile was not moist enough, perhaps because hot weather caused more water to evaporate. When you tightly squeeze a handful of compost, it should be moist, but not too wet. To speed up the composting process, Ezat buys and uses effective microorganisms, known as EM. EM is a solution full of bacteria. As soon as I use it on the pile, decomposition is automatic, especially in the first three days. It speeds up the composting process. You can buy industrially produced effective microorganisms from agricultural shops or ask farmers who use natural farming methods. EM needs to be activated by mixing one part with one part molasses and 20 parts water and letting it ferment in an airtight container for one to two weeks. Every two days, open and shake the container to release the air and keep the microorganisms in your container alive. When the EM is ready to be used on your compost pile, it will have a strong smell and a dark color. To make sure the EM is thoroughly mixed throughout the compost pile, disperse it when watering or turning the pile. You will know your compost is ready once the rice straw no longer looks like rice straw. It feels, looks and smells like clean earth. With the right conditions, your compost will be ready in four months. Remove any rubbish from the compost pile as you get it ready for sale. You can sell the compost loose, as it is, or pack it in bags for sale to plant nurseries, urban gardens and other farmers. The compost is now ready. If it dries up too much, it'll be equivalent to dirt. I need to keep it moist so that when I use it, it still retains its nutrient value. Sell your compost fresh. You can even get it tested at a laboratory so that you know the nutrient content. Quality compost can sell at a good market price.
Sifted compost can increase its value if you are selling it in bags. You can buy an electric sifting machine or have it made at a local metal workshop with a grid size of around one centimeter. Make sure the compost is not too wet before sifting it. Check what your clients want. You can offer different pricing packages according to the services you provide. Of course, you don't have to run composting as a business. Smallholder rice farmers can produce compost for their own land and utilize a resource that others still consider a burden. Let us review the steps for a quality compost operation. You need space, so you can easily use a tractor for turning large compost piles, fresh manure and rice straw at the correct ratios, a nearby source of water so you can easily water the pile, build the compost pile to a height of about 2 meters, too low and it is unlikely that the correct temperatures will be reached, too large and the pile will become compacted there will not be enough air in the pile and decomposition will slow down. Make sure the compost pile reaches 55 to 65 degrees in the first week to ensure all disease and seeds from the manure are killed. Regularly turn the pile every three to four weeks to ensure good ventilation for the microorganisms. Use effective microorganisms, EM, to increase the microorganism activity in the compost and accelerate decomposition. Depending on your client requirements, run laboratory tests to know its nutrient content. Sieve your compost and then sell it either loose or packed in bags. Aim to develop regular clients to secure the needed cash flow for the four-month compost cycle. Small-scale farmers can struggle to keep their soil healthy and often resort to buying fertilizers to improve their yield. But with a bit of extra work to make compost, yields can be increased naturally and the soil improved year by year. <laughs>